Hi everybody, Leslie here. I'm popping on to just share a few tips and tricks with you. Then I'm going to go into a bit of the behind the scenes of a YouTube channel. Those bits might not be of interest to everybody, but there's not many crafters out there that share the information about how much money they make and how hard it is to get monetized. I think it's nice to share that information because it's quite hard to find out otherwise. The things that I thought might be interesting for everybody is that YouTube have this tab here called community. And I've just done my first couple of posts in the community tab. And it's a little bit like a Facebook page. Obviously, because this is my version, I can post things here and it'll look something like this for you. It might not look exactly the same because obviously I'm the owner of this channel. So it looks slightly different for me. But I've already posted a little behind the scenes video and I've actually posted a poll. So if you're interested, go and pop on and answer the question in the poll. So anything I post in here, any little short videos. So this is only a 21 second video. They won't be available anywhere obvious on like my video it'll only pop up in the community so the idea of that is just to give little extra things to people who come on click on the page and subscribe and like I say it's a little bit like a Facebook page that was something I thought a lot of people might not know about yet you might spot up here I've just hit 100 videos so I thought this was a, another good time to post a little update on my channel let's get into my channel analytics so if you're not interested in this you can head off now <laughs> and the reason I wanted to show you this today is because this date here Thursday the December 21st right at the beginning of the last 90 days is the first day that I was monetized so this is my first 90 days of monetization as you can see I've earned some, some money off my videos every single day since I was monetized and I've got 1,205 subscribers. And that journey just went up over 1,200 a day ago, I think. So the least I've ever made on a single day was 10p, I think. Yeah, there's a few that are 10 or 11p. And you'll see, this is when I posted videos and things. And I've not been hugely consistent, especially in February, because I was busy doing other things. You know, real life gets in the way. So this is, this correlates with where I posted videos down the bottom here. And obviously when I post videos, I tend to get a little spike. So the most I've ever made in one day in my first 90 days with a thousand-ish subscribers was £1.75. And I've had 11k views, so 11,000 views, 1.3k of watch time hours. I've added another 209 subscribers since was monetized. This number here is sometimes higher than you'd expect this one to be and that's because you lose some along the way so some days I'll go up two and down one. In fact I can click on it and show you. So here for some reason I lost five people. Don't know why. Just one of those things. I don't worry too much about this. It's generally on the up and that's the watch time hours. This is the number of views which you know it potters around. The only thing that I don't like about this, this views, it looks like I had lots and lots of views yesterday and it was just because I pu published a short yesterday. That 535 views, 462 of them were on a short and while shorts are monetized, you need to get like a million views before you make anything out of them. So 462 on a short is actually absolutely nothing in comparison to some shorts. So this is my revenue in the last 90 days. Of, so it's not quite 90 days because there's a little grayed out bit and you'll see that this actually only goes up to the 18th and today's the 20th of March. And the reason is there's always two days processing. So the last two days aren't are never on here. So in 90 days, I've made £42 and 42p. I thought I'd show you which of my videos have made me the most. The ones that have been the highest performing are things like my craft room tour, which I posted before I was monetized. That's had 3,800 views since it was posted. And that was posted on, the Decem on December 1st last year. And then my second most successful video in the last 90 days is my Airtable video. So this is a video about a way to catalogue and search through all your stash. So if you've not seen that one and you're interested, that's my Airtable for Crafters video. And that one I did way back in June last year. So this is actually a really old video. 
And then my other top performing video is my spinning puzzle cards video, which is the one that kind of originally sort of went a little bit viral. And it's had 665 views in the last 90 days. And that one was June 28th last year. So some of the videos that are making me a lot in terms of the percentage of the money are ones that I made well over six months ago now. And then other high performing ones are actually craft room storage and things. And then some of my other more recent crafty videos. Hopefully people will come back and watch these in future as well. This is the number of views down this side. So you can see the average sort of views I'm getting on like my more recent videos, these ones. I'd ignore this one because this is a short, so it doesn't really count. So yeah, anything from 200-ish views in the last 90 days. But these ones are the ones that are really more recent. So sort of 450, 570 views. And there's a lot more um, information in these tabs. But I thought it was nice to see that's the kind of amount I'm making off my videos. So £42.42 .42 pence in my first 90 days. The interesting thing is that you don't actually get paid any of this until you hit £60 in the UK. I'm not sure what it is around the rest of the world, but that's £60. So I still won't get any of this probably for another couple of months, to be honest. If I click on this, this is the revenue tab up here. You can see the breakdown. So I actually made £18.45 in January, £7.48 in December. But remember, that was only from the 21st to the end of the month. I only made £9.37 in February, which, like I said, I wasn't very consistent. I had a busy February and it's a short month. And so far in March, so we've got another 10 days left in March. I've made £7.13. And this is how much each video makes. And it varies from video to video. Longer videos might have an advert in the middle. So, of course, you get slightly more for those. So my craft room tour in the last 1990 days has made me £13.92. And then my spinning puzzle card, £3.91. My Airtable video. So this one's had more views than this one. The Airtable's had slightly more views but it's not made me as much money. So it depends on the length of the video. It depends what part of the world people are watching from as well, because different territories, as they call it, around the world are worth more in advertising revenue. So it depends who's watching it and for how long. These ones, £2.67, £2.49. I can show you more. Ignore these ones at the end because that's what they call the, the RPM, which is how much you'd get paid if you had a thousand views on it. Although that says £5.90 there, I've only actually had 70p off it. 69p off another one that was relatively recent. That was my DIY embossing folder diffusers video. There's interesting statistics about how much money you're making off all the different videos if you want to have a look at those sorts of things if you've got your own channel. Just to show you, that money is all from watch page ads. And the tiniest bit, this is what I said about shorts, I've made 0 0.003, not even one pence that I've made out of shorts ads. I'm sorry, my dogs are barking at the door if you can hear that. So yeah, it's it shorts at the moment do nothing for me. But yeah, it, it's, it, is it worth doing it for the money? No, I think for the amount of time that I put into making videos, the revenue doesn't even cover my time. And it probably doesn't even cover yet the, the equipment that I bought to make sure that things like my camera doesn't wobble. So I bought a new tripod. I've not covered the cost of that yet, for example. I don't buy a lot of craft things specifically for videos. That's not something that I go out there to do. I only use things that I would have bought for myself anyway, or that I've already got and obviously have bought for myself. If you enjoy making the videos, it's worth doing it. The amount of money, yeah, as my channel grows, then hopefully the revenue will grow with it from the ads. But I don't think it's ever going to make me a fortune. Yeah, it is what it is, but I thought that might be interesting for people who have started their own channels to see these things. I'm going to sign off, say thank you for watching, and I will see you again in another video very soon.